But anyway, let me, let me tell you something. So with Spider-Man, okay, you, you say they're working on Wolverine, which is fine. But I think in the base game, don't don't drop the game if it's only going to be like... Spider-Man 2 was fun, and objectively, it was a good sequel. They added, you know, Spider-Man and the both Spider-Mans, the characters, the story wasn't bad. It was pretty decent. It was fun, but it was just like no replay value. I mean, it was a good game, but like for how short it was, man, you, we could have had like, a, like two more arcs. We could have had a, a whole arc with the whole symbiote. Like the whole symbiote part where, like, where you know, they, they took over the city and whatnot. I think that could have been its own like web of shadows i spoke about this so many times before but that could have been like it that could have been like a completely second half of the game the first half could have been like the build-up okay we have kratos i mean craven um fucking kratos mentioned we could have craven just trolling just fucking people up boom 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 okay and then we had um like agent venom that could have been its own like little thing which it was but we could have like expanded on that i feel like that whole like craven half would have been class like boom 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 like everything everything like the first half was juicy because it was so short right boom 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 boom, boom. we're going at it the whole craven thing was magisterial the whole miles versus woo woo with versus spider-man that was class but i feel like right after that that's when it like dipped it just like boom 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 like it, it, they try to like rush the game but i think after the miles and spider-man fight which is fucking godly i think after that fight and then the entire city kind of turned into like a symbiote, like symbiote fucked up city. That could have been like a whole different, a whole different like second half. So let me explain it to you like this. So this is the full game. Boom, right here, right? This is the full game. The first, the first like 70, kind of 60, like right here, this is the, the Craven versus like Spider-Man, the whole little mini symbiote, it's like Spider-Man symbiote. And then that little 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 part right here, that little sliver, like that was all like venom and and the and the web of shadows like levels. They could have like expanded on it. The pacing was was dog. Ugh, man, it, and it's a shame because it's such a good game. It's a, it was a, like a really fun game. They just could have added more. They could have added more. Could have done more. They could have, yeah, yeah. Because you have to remember, bro, this is, like, we were paying $70. $70 plus some change. Plus some change, bro. Like, this this is, like, you're, step, you're stepping on my fucking feet with this. Like, you're busting my chops with this. You're yanking my nuts with this, bro. $70? I paid $70. And you're giving me, like, a like a 10-hour game. Like, a 12-hour game. How long is that? How long is Spider-Man? 15 to 20 hours. And only took 30 hours to platinum. What the plot plus the DLC plus you know pre-order plus like whatever that, that comes with it web of shadows is definitely one of the if not the best spider-man of all time I, I agree I agree with that as well I think my top three spider-man games it's got to be web of shadows shadow dimensions and just the main ps4 um, game those but the thing is it's so hard to like kind of put one above the other i think spider-man the ps4 game might be the best spider-man game of all time just because it's just that game the web swinging the bosses the fighting it's just the the um the pinnacle of spider-man it's just peak spider-man the suits um everything about it is just pure class the combat <clears throat> but web of shadows has that charm it has that comic book feel you got electro you got moon knight Wolverine going ban for ban, symbiote Wolverine, symbiote everybody. Basically, everybody just gets hit with that woo. Um, the the web swinging, the web swinging. That's the best web swinging in any game ever of all time in fiction history. That's law. The web of shadows swinging. Mwah. I just, bro, just just grabbing a drink, bro. Just grabbing some beers, man. Just cracking one open, putting some jazz in the background. You know, you're in a VC with the Laz, just cracking jokes, man. Watching Dexter Brazilian funk edits, just cracking it. Just just pure vibes, man. Swinging through the city, going fast as fuck, doing little tricks. Ugh. You really just have to experience that. The combat, for, and also the combat goes band for band with the Spider-Man PS4 as well. Like fighting on walls, like doing crazy web tricks and whatnot. 
and the fact that you can like intertwine between OG Spider-Man and Black Suit Spider-Man. <sighs> like you could literally, that's like a combo string. You can go S S S S and then boom, da, 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 and transform into like Black Suit Symbiote and just like just fucking explode with like the spikes and whatnot. Woo! And and that's just Web of Shadows. But dude, Shadow Dimensions. Like each game, each like those three Spider-Man games are so unique. Because with Shadow Dimensions, it's not so heavily focused on like the web swinging and like the exploration. It's more like a levels game. Each level is like extremely unique. It's like beautiful. It's like a work of art straight from the comic book. It's like a love letter to the comics. It's like there's like the Deadpool level where it's like he has his own little theme park and it's like it's like a murderous like Fight Club theme park. You have the Sandman level, the the Spider-Man Noir level where it's like he's in the it's like a mafia, you know, gangster fucking, you know, back in the 1800s or whatnot. That's why I love Shadow Dimensions, man. And it's like a multiverse game. So it's got like Symbiote, Ultimate, uh, 2099. How long does it take for a DLC to come out? You know what I mean? How how much longer till we get that Carnage DLC? Till we get that? Uh, I think uh, there's like so many other DLCs planned. Mm -mm. That's just greedy. That's greedy incarnate. You gave us like a 15 hour game. You gave me a 15 hour game for $70 and you're gonna make me pay for your DLC? Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass, bro. You pissing me. You're just making me mad. And you're gonna make me pay for the DLC? It couldn't have. You can't make it like a free DLC? Nah. You've lost the plot, literally. You've, like, literally, you've lost the plot. What the fuck? Where the fuck does Carnage... Carnage could have been, like, the final villain! It, he could have been, like, the final villain. It's like, okay, boom, boom, boom. We got Spider-Man. We got Venom with the wings. How cool would it ha could it have been to see Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Venom team up against Carnage? Come on! You've lost the plot! Put me in the studio. Put me in the studio. Like, what What more can they do? Oh, I mean, I guess the Superior Spider-Man? Superior Spider-Man? But I think, you know what sucks about it, though? Like, the, the, the symbiote, like, era art is completely, like, over. So it's not like, oh, they're transitioning Venom and, you know, Carnage for the next game. That's not happening at all, because the entirety of, like, the, the symbiote, like, like, the rock from space they, they peaked with that they they wrapped it up and just ended it there and they just kind of like speed ran that so with that being said and carnage being like a dlc is fucking crazy carnage is a main level boss i think in the third game we'll be getting like a legit green goblin carnage no 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 maybe carnage i don't know we'll see how the dlc pans out but we'll definitely be getting Superior Spider-Man and uh, Green Goblin. That's for true. So those are going to be like main, the main level bosses. And for the other bosses, I mean, they could add Hydra Man. They could, there's so many like Spider-Man villains that are like kind of cool as fuck that don't really get any love. I mean, they could add the spot. Maybe. Who knows? Red Goblin. They could add Red Goblin. This is what I think might may happen. They could have the Green Goblin. Boom, boom, boom. You know, have, have him doing like a first act type of thing. Or and then and then like Carnage that like, gets fucked up from the DLC, right? He gets fucked up from the DLC, and then somehow like the Carnage symbiote comes back around and it attaches to like the Green Goblin, and then we get this Red Goblin. This guy's dangerous. I think this guy this guy fucks up Spider Man. I think he fucks it. Yeah, he fucks up Spider Man like pretty 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah.